Who are the 10 biggest listed companies in the UK and should you invest in them? In this video, we will try to find out. The FTSE 100 is a truly global index and the companies within it generate on average 75% of their revenue from outside the UK. If you buy a FTSE 100 tracking ETF like this one, you will own every company in the FTSE 100. However, you won't have 1% exposure to each company because it's weighted by capitalization. Almost half the value of this ETF is made up of just 10 companies. Just a reminder that this video is not investment advice and is purely for entertainment purposes only. So who are these 10 companies which dominate the FTSE 100? Let's find out. And number 10 is Relex. Relex is an information and analytics company that operates around the world providing scientific, medical, legal and technical information to businesses as well as providing decision-making tools. Relex has a market cap of £54 billion, the share price is up an impressive 82% over the last five years and a dividend is 2% spread over two payments a year. Relex has a great track record of growing its dividend year after year. If you had invested £1,000 in Relex five years ago, your holding would now be worth around 1835 which includes dividends. A word of caution here. The way I've calculated this figure is based on the current yield and not the average of the last five years, and I'm also assuming dividends have not been reinvested. It will, however, give you a rough idea of what your holding would now be worth at the time of this video. The ninth largest listed company in the UK is British American Tobacco. BAT was founded in 1902 and is a British multinational in the cigarette and tobacco industry. Headquartered in London, it is the largest tobacco company in the world based on sales. The share price has fallen significantly over the last five years and is down more than 23%. Governments have been stepping up their crackdowns on tobacco. The yield is a huge 9.1% and the payment history has been very reliable, but will it be sustained? The landscape for tobacco companies is becoming more and more challenging and the company has quite a lot of debt on its balance sheet. If you had invested £1,000 in British American Tobacco five years ago, you would have made a loss and your holding would now only be worth £853. At number eight is GSK. GSK is a pharmaceutical and biotechnology company. A demerger of its consumer healthcare division in July of 2022 saw its market cap fall. However, GSK remains one of the 10 biggest pharmaceutical companies in the world. GSK has a market cap of £57 billion. The share price has fallen 12% over the last five years. The annual dividend yield is 4% and it's another one of those companies which pays out four times a year. Dividend growth has been fairly stable in recent years and the 2022 fall you can see on the bottom graph is a result of the demerger. If you had invested £1,000 in GSK five years ago, your holding including dividends would now be worth £917. At number seven is Rio Tinto. Rio Tinto is an Anglo-Australian mining company and the second biggest miner in the world after BHP. The company has operations in the mining of several minerals including iron ore, copper, aluminium, uranium and diamonds. Rio has a market cap of £63 billion and the shares are up 39% over the last five years. The dividend is high at 6.1% spread over two payments a year. Dividends have shown an upward trend over the years. If you had invested £1,000 in Rio five years ago, your holding would now be worth £1,446, with dividends included. If you find this content useful, then please tap that like button as it really helps the channel grow. The sixth largest company in the UK is Diageo. Diageo is a drinks company that has a wide portfolio of alcoholic beverage products, including a specialism in Scotch whisky and spirits. 40% of all Scotch whisky is produced by Diageo. Diageo has a market cap of 72 billion and the shares are up 16% over the last five years. The dividend is fairly low at 2.5%, but as you can see below, Diageo has a good track record of growing its dividend consistently. If you had invested £1,000 in Diageo five years ago, your holding would now be worth around £1,185 with dividends included. At number five is the oil giant BP. BP is the fourth largest oil company in the world by revenue after ExxonMobil, Shell and Total Energies. 
BP has a market cap of £83 billion. The share price is down 6% over the last five years. The dividend is a decent 4.8% spread over four payments a year. Dividend history is a bit volatile, which is not surprising as oil is in a cyclical sector. If you had invested £1,000 in BP five years ago, your holding would now be worth around £991. And number four is Unilever. Unilever is a global consumer goods company headquartered in London. It sells a vast array of products across three divisions, food and refreshments, home care, beauty and personal care. Unilever's products are sold in 190 countries across the world. Unilever has a market cap of £96 billion. The shares are down 7% over the last five years. Dividend yield is 3.8% spread over four payments a year. Dividend history is fairly robust. If you had invested £1,000 in Unilever five years ago, your holding would now be worth around £971, which includes your dividends. At number three is HSBC, the UK's most valuable bank by market cap and Europe's biggest bank by assets under management. Originally founded in Hong Kong and called the Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation, since 1991 HSBC has been based in London. HSBC has a market cap of £117 billion, the shares are down 5% over the last five years and a dividend yield is 7.1% spread over four payments a year. Dividend history is a bit patchy and banking is another sector which can be rather cyclical. If you had invested £1,000 in HSBC five years ago, your holding would now be worth £1,021. The second largest company in the UK is AstraZeneca. The company has multiple products across several areas, including cardiovascular, neuroscience, oncology, respiratory and gastrointestinal. AstraZeneca has a market cap of £159 billion. The shares are up an impressive 60% over the last five years. The dividend yield is on the low side at 2.3%, but the dividend reliability looks very strong and stable. If you had invested £1,000 in AstraZeneca five years ago, your holding would now be worth around £1,684 with dividends included. And finally, the largest listed company in the UK is Shell. Shell is one of the world's biggest oil and gas providers and among the super majors, it is second only to ExxonMobil in terms of revenue. Shell has become the number one UK company mainly due to high oil prices and increased profits from its gas sales. Shell has a market cap of £175 billion. The shares are up 43% over the last five years and a dividend yield is a respectable 4%. Like many of the companies already mentioned, Shell also pays out four times a year. If you had invested £1,000 in Shell five years ago, your holding including dividends would now be worth £1,470. And here are those 10 largest companies again. For transparency, I now own shares in all of them. Relics was my latest addition just before making this video. Of all the money I currently have in my portfolio, 50% is in just these 10 companies. On average, the share price of these companies is up 19.2% over the last five years, and the average dividend yield is 4.6%. If you had invested £1,000 in each of these 10 companies, your £10,000 would now be worth around £12,373. If you had put your £10,000 in a FTSE 100 index tracker instead, it would now be worth £10,840. If you had invested in the FTSE 250, you would actually have made a loss overall and your £10,000 would now be worth just £9,780. Investing in the FTSE All Share Index would have given you a gain of £10,720. So yes, investing in the largest 10 companies over the last five years would on average have outperformed all of these UK indices shown here in both capital growth as well as dividends. Now you may be asking what months these 10 companies pay their dividends and could we actually achieve payments every single month? Let's find out. In January, we receive dividends from GSK. In February, British American Tobacco pays out. In March, it's Shell, AstraZeneca, Unilever and BP. April, we have HSBC, Diageo, Rio Tinto and GSK. In May, it's just British American Tobacco. In June, we have dividends from Shell, HSBC, Unilever, BP and Relics. July, it's GSK. 
August is British American Tobacco. September is a big dividend month from Shell, AstraZeneca, HSBC, Unilever, BP, Rio Tinto and Relex. In October it's Diageo and GSK. In November is British American Tobacco. And in December we receive payments from Shell, HSBC, Unilever and BP. So here we have it, just buying the 10 largest listed companies in the UK has on average outperformed the main UK indices, as well as getting paid dividends every single month. What's your view of UK large caps? Let me know in the comments. Now, as I've already mentioned, half the entire value of my own portfolio is in just these 10 UK companies. To see my complete portfolio and how it's performed this year and since I started, then click here.